I'm JT Van Zant, fly fishing guide on the Middle Texas coast, and we're here doing a Costa Gear Garage. Come check out my setup. This is an essential part of my life, a Chittum Laguna Madre edition carbon fiber tunnel hole. I couldn't do what I do without this boat, super skinny running boat. They're super shallow and then there's Texas flats. We've got acres and acres and acres of five inch water and you got to get to the fish, you got to get through that stuff. And this is what allows me to do that. So and I'll show you a few things that are unique about this boat. So under here, it looks like you've got a little bit of a, of a uh, chine, but it's actually a giant water tunnel, a trap. So when water comes off the bottom of the hull, it gets trapped and sent back down and doesn't come in the boat, doesn't get on your sunglasses, doesn't wet your client. So extremely dry boat. Um, it's a carbon fiber skiff. A tunnel is, a, is like four wheel drive on a boat. It does compromise the performance a little bit in open water. Um, but for what I do here in Texas, without this little tunnel extension in this boot, it pretty much makes this boat like an airboat. I can run super, super shallow without engaging uh, with the bottom in terms of my skeg and my prop. So just for having clients, you know, if something were to happen and I was way back in the flats, this boat allows me to jump up and uh, if I had an emergency with somebody, I could get them back to the dock instead of having to pull for a couple miles before I had deep enough water to jump up in, in a non-tunnel boat. Um, so what you're looking at up here is a longhorn skull that was retrieved from deep inside uh, the marsh here in Texas. And what makes that super special is that there's a, there's a ranging uh, longhorn herd on one of our islands. And those guys sometimes wander out into the flats, get stuck in mud if they fall over their toes. And so uh, finding one of these is super rare. In the last 25 years, I've found three. And actually, one of them was found yesterday, and it's a gift to my buddy David Mangum. Let me show you a couple patterns I've settled on recently uh, for fly fishing for redfish. So as a guide fishing every day, I need a lot of flies. I don't like to tie for fun anymore. I like to tie for utility. And so I need, to, I need stuff that's real quick to tie, but very effective. I've uh, come across these two patterns lately. Nothing really special about them, uh, except for their design to fish where I fish. So we've got just a little impressionistic crab shrimp deal. It's actually some gray fox that was trapped on my property, as a matter of fact. And a little bit of EP brush with some silly legs in there. It's got a little scud body weight that I think is a super cool little weight. Instead of barbell eyes, this goes on the shank, opposite the hook and flips the fly hook up. That's important so it doesn't grass up on us. And that's really good for black drum and or redfish. If they see it, they'll smack it. Really quick to tie, I can, I can pump out half a dozen of these in 10 minutes or so. And I'm, that sets me up really for the week. The other one is a uh, craft fur fly. You could use Arctic Vox if you wanted to use natural fibers. But just a tail, a little bit of flash, and then a dubbing loop of that material makes it real wispy. This also has that weight on it, and it's impressionistic of perhaps a small minnow or a white shrimp. I tie these in multiple colors, and I do these also in some lighter and darker colors. But between the two of these, half a dozen, that sets me up for my clients for, for, a, good, for a good week or so, unless we're uh, popping flies off, which I use 20, 25 pound tests, so that never really happens. They'll rust before they fall apart. So, great couple patterns to whip out, take you no time. Or uh, some wooden canoes I make, and these are specific for fishing the flats. It's a flat bottom boat, kind of like a P-Rope, and you, you can stand up in it, stable enough. It has rod storage on each side, so a lot of times if I'm fishing by myself, I'll cart one of these out on top of my skiff so I can um, deploy it in the flats and just anchor the boat up and kind of paddle around, fish by myself. Real super stealth, real low to the water. Um, takes a little bit of practice standing up and casting in it, but it's a super cool tool to use. It's, it's pretty and people often say like, I'd hate to put that in the water, but no, this is a, this is a tough tool. It's got fiberglass on the bottom meant to drag over sand and oyster. Um, you can't hurt them, you know, it's, it's meant to be used. And the more you use them, the more you ding them up, the prettier they get. So, well, that's kind of it. Uh, 
thanks for stopping by and checking out my setup, guys. Pretty simple life here, just, uh, just fishing for a living and enjoying every second of it. Um, come back anytime, let's get on the water together.